Oh, hey there. How are you? Welcome to day three. I couldn't sleep last night. It really sucked. Welcome to my vlog. What up, Tube? Like I said, it's your boy, Dustin Jacobs, coming back at you with my third video for the third day of orientation. It is uh, about 7.30 in the morning. I'm going to go down and grab some breakfast and then go finish orientation. I could not sleep last night. I took melatonin, took my regular medicine. I was up, got up at 12.30, decided I was going to take a drive downtown Atlanta because there was no traffic. So I went downtown Atlanta, saw the Olympic Park. Saw the Georgia Dome and the brand new stadium that they're building next to it, which makes the Georgia Dome look like a uh, high school stadium. I mean, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. If you've been to the Georgia Dome, it's already huge. I've been in it. This thing is even bigger. So, But anyway, uh, drove back, thought I could sleep, still couldn't. So I think I'm going on maybe four hours if I'm lucky. So uh, anyway... Going orientation, I've been withholding some information, so hopefully today I find out this information. What up y'all, it's your boy Dustin Jacobs coming back at you. Day three, like I said earlier, I'm tired as can be, but I'm going to keep it as zuppy as possible because that's what you guys want. I don't bring you guys uh, kind of like this, so, <coughs> excuse me. So, today, easy day, was not much going on. Did more safety again. The head of operations came in, did uh, his spiel. Um, we ate lunch, kind of sat around there for a while. Then we had HR come in and do a couple things. And then uh, ended up with a guy that came in to tell us truck stops that you cannot park at and why we have to lock our, our padlock our doors. Pretty simple, basic stuff. That was really it. Okay. Now, for the information that I was withholding, when I came down here, I was given a flight itinerary for a uh, round trip flight. So, when I get down here, the round trip's gone. Well, I never was heard from anybody, or was told from anybody that I had to drive a truck back. I still haven't been. One of the guys in my class found out and told me, so I got pissed. The car's at the airport. I rented a car here from the airport. Plan on being at the airport, you know, by nine or eight thirty tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm not, so you know, I told him. I said, "Look, I said I went to HR. And I said my biggest problem is I said I'm being polite about this. I said I am not trying to be mean, but you guys are starting off on a lie." I said, one, still nobody from Premier has told me that I need to drive a truck back to Pendleton. And what happened was, Pendleton is short on trucks. Since we had four drivers here this week, they wanted all of us to drive trucks back. Well, of course, everybody got pissed except for one guy because he's single. He said, hell, I'll do it. But, you know, it's 4th of July weekend. I have plans and I have stuff to do. So, I told him, I said, look, I didn't lie to you in my interview. I didn't lie to you on my resume. And I said, What's, what are you guys doing to me right now? She said, lying to you. I said, exactly. I said, now if I was to do that, I wouldn't get hired. So, you know, we're building a relationship on trust here, and you guys are already screwing it up. And she agreed me 100%. Um, so luckily, I had screenshot my round trip, and I showed the head of OC, who, by the way, is not the most pleasant person in the world. Um, he was kind of pissed off. And he goes, why can't you drive a truck home? I said, because I was told this, and just like I told you guys, and I showed him my screenshot of my... Um, uh, round trip as soon as he sold out he goes all right get him a ticket so all i'm going to tell you is lesson learned get it in writing because if you don't you're going to get out here and you're going to find something else out different now it's still a good place but you know make sure say hey i'm flying down am i coming back am i coming back on a flight or am i driving if they say flight say i want it in writing i want you to email me i want the itinerary because i've heard that you guys get them down there because even the driving instructor told me that he's heard it happen before. So that is the information I've been withholding all week because I didn't know what was going to happen. Bottom line is I am flying home tomorrow. They took care of it. Um, the other thing is the pay update. I was wrong. 
um, the South and everybody else gets 34 cents a mile. If you live in the Midwest, which includes Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, Illinois, and I believe they count Wisconsin as part of this because I think we have some people up there, you get 39 cents a mile. Here's why. For one, there are more accounts up here than anywhere. And for two, Indiana houses a ton of them. So if you start in Evansville, Indiana, Go to Brownsburg, Indiana. Go to Pendleton, Indiana. Go over to Columbus, Ohio. Go down to Franklin, Kentucky. And then back to Evansville, Indiana. Each one of those DCs are within 250 miles of each other. And within that circle, if you will, is 100 tractor supply companies. Which is our main hauler out of there. So... Because they are so shorthanded, not only are they trying to get drivers to move from here up there, they're giving another nickel a mile, they're giving us a $5,000 bonus and a $2,000 recruitment bonus. So like I said, anything to be learned out of that, try to do a Midwest run and get everything in writing. Um, like I said before, wasn't much else to talk about today, it was day three, it was a normal day, it was just... Simple stuff. It's, it's a normal day three of orientation. If you've never been through an or, a day three orientation, it's basically sit around and wait. You basically get all your stuff. You're basically hired, so you wait on your comm data card. You wait on your um, uh, comm checks. You you wait on your instructions on whether you're driving, whether you're flying, if you're getting a truck, what truck you're getting, uh, who your terminal manager is, your dispatcher is, yada, yada, yada. Basically, that's all you did today. And then we still had three people who had to take a driver's test because we had 11 people in our class. And um, every one of them, you take us about an hour and a half and they don't start until 1 o'clock. So. But other than that, that's it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Just remember that um, those things that I told you about, you know, keep them in mind. Any comments, questions, or concerns about the video, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. I really didn't miss much today because like I said, there wasn't hardly anything today except for that regular old redundant stuff. Um, I got all my quizzes done last night, so those are done. And then um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I will say this though, it is a good place to work. I am excited about working here. I'm excited about the equipment. I'm excited about what we're hauling and I'm excited about the pay. So. I encourage you guys to come here, and if you do, like I said, please tell them you saw my video and say, hey, you know, put me down. Dustin Jacobs um, was uh, the guy I saw on YouTube, and, you know, he spoke good about it, and uh, I would love to hear from you. And then once you get here, it pays forward. Then you start recruiting people, and you start getting money. You'll get the $5,000 bonus like I did. Then you'll start getting $2,000 for everybody you get. So... I would really appreciate it. I love doing these videos for you. I hope these helped out because nobody has anything on Premiere. So basically, I want to make sure that you guys had the full Monty, if you will, on what happens for the three-day orientation at Premiere. I'm going to cut it off right here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you have any questions, put them down below. And as always, if you're out there driving, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Bye.